Today, let's talk about Matter. Back in my Spanish video era, I made a video about the smart home protocols. Since then, the smart home industry has welcomed a new protocol that aims to solve most of the common compatibility problems between devices from different manufacturers. But if you had the chance to try one of these new devices, you definitely come across some new limitations. The most obvious one being the lack of support for certain types of devices and specific vendors features. To better exemplify this, I'll be using the recently released Matter-enabled version of the Sonoff M5 Smart Switch. And if you're ready, let's go! The Sonoff M5 was originally released back in February 2022. It's a smart switch that allows you to make your current light installation smart. It uses physical buttons with the addition of a small LED light, which will help you find it easily even in the dark. The device is great. I have been using it as a first introduction to smart devices for non-tech savvy users for years. You can use it in Home Assistant using the Sonoff LAN integration, created by Alex IT, or even flash it with ESP Home if you want to get rid of the cloud completely. Sonoff recently released a new Matter enabled version that is basically the same device but with Matter certification. Oh, and for some reason, it's only available on white. If you are interested in any of them, you can buy them using the affiliate links on our website. Use the coupon code FIXSONOFF on the IT store to get a 10% discount. Although smart home switches have been supported from version 1.0 of Matter, since then we have had 1.1, 1.2, and recently 1.3. Each version added improvements and support for new device types. There is still a lack of features compared to using the brand's own app. For example, for the M5, if we use Matter directly, we lose support for features like control over the default state of the device when it loses power, the brightness level for the LED on the buttons, Sonoff it will link remote control, their RF-based proprietary protocol for communication with devices like the Sonoff R5, and most importantly, the ability to update the firmware of the device. There is a reason for this. Since Matter is a standard, it's focused on providing support for the main functionality of each device type. In this case, turning on and off lights. And that's pretty much what you get when using Matter. Right now, the protocol is still in its infancy, so their focus is on adding more device types rather than implementing vendor-specific features. That's probably going to happen down the line, but we still have a long way for that. Before we continue, just take a moment to subscribe if you find this video useful so far. For Home Assistant users, Matter is still less relevant as it is right now, since if your device is supported by default or by a custom integration, like in this case, you still get the interoperability between different brands and services, plus an extremely powerful automation system that you can't find anywhere else. So, should you care about Matter? Yes, but as it is right now, it shouldn't be a decisive factor to make you buy a product over another. In this case, for example, I would rather use the grey version of the M5 than the white Matter version. Don't get me wrong, Matter is focused on making adding new devices as frictionless an experience as it could be, especially for non-tech savvy users. Since now, when your smartphone detects a new Matter-enabled device nearby ready to be configured, a pop-up should appear that allows the user to easily start its configuration right away, instead of having to install a separate app, manage a new account, and learn a new way to pair a device. But since the Matter experience is not finished yet, right now it's kind of a step down when it comes to features that you're actually paying for when buying the device. Also, by now, you should already know not to buy products based on features coming down the line. What I mean by this is that for a new version of Matter to be compatible with your device, the manufacturer needs to update its firmware. That currently you can do using Matter directly. And do you think that every manufacturer is going to spend development time and effort to update a firmware of a device that it already sold to you a couple of years ago, rather than trying to sell you a new one that supports FYC new features? So for the time being, I'm going to be sticking with each device app or create my own devices using ESP Home. If you like my work, please consider becoming a member on Coffee or on Patreon, like all these amazing people. Currently, we are at 36% of our goal to hire an editor to create better content for you. If you can't become a member, you can always donate whatever you like using the button on our website. Every dollar takes us closer to our goal. And if you can't do that, don't worry. Just remember to give this video a like and share it with your friends. We truly appreciate all your support. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!